Hello everyone. This is the second lecture of AAPS Pre-Formulation 101 e-course. My name is Balvinder Vig and I lead a group of scientists within the Drug Product Science and Technology Department within Bristol Myers Squibb. In this lecture, I will cover drug substance physical form selection. In the third lecture, Ann Newman will be covering drug substance physical form characterization. The objectives at the end of these two lectures are that you should be able to understand why physical form is important from performance, quality, intellectual property, and regulatory point of view. How we screen and select appropriate physical form for a drug product. What are the typical risks associated with polymorphs in drug substance and drug product? How do we characterize physical forms? And what are the appropriate tools and techniques to do so? Here's the outline of my lecture. After a brief introduction, I will cover some basic definitions of physical forms. Then I'll discuss importance of physical forms in pharmaceuticals, especially the impact of physical form on solubility, dissolution, stability, etc. Following which I will cover form selection strategy and process. The key considerations during the form selection process, especially from manufacturing, analytical, biopharmaceutical, and drug product point of view. I'll also discuss strategy around free forms versus salts and or co-crystals, and solvents versus free forms. At the tail end of the lecture, I will cover the risk assessment in drug substance and drug product, physical stability considerations, and conclude the lecture with the regulatory considerations. <laughs>